Hello, this tutorial is for an eight point star blanket. Uh, the one shown here is just done in one um, shade of yarn, it's a, a variegated yarn that changes colour automatically. The tutorial I'm going to do today is going to feature Christmas colours as I'm going to do a Christmas themed throw. We're using double knit yarn and a 5mm hook. Start with a 5 chain, so slip stitch a knot, a slip knot onto your hook and work chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Join with a slip stitch into the first chain to form a loop. The first stitch on each row is going to be three chain, which counts as the first double crochet. So three chain, and then into the ring we're going to work 12 double crochets. So pull up a loop, yarn over, through two, through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, through two, through two. We carry on in this same way until we've got 12 stitches all together. That's including the first three chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We then join with a slip stitch into the third chain of the starting stitch, like so. Row 2, or you may just want to check that you've actually got 12 stitches there. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Into the first stitch that we're already in, we're going to do 3 chain, which again counts as a double crochet. Into the same stitch, we do a second double crochet. Go along into the next stitch and do exactly the same two double crochets. Into the next stitch, two double crochets. I'm going to do this all the way around in each stitch working two doubles and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Now we've got the 12 double crochets, uh, sorry, tw uh, we've worked two double crochets into each of the 12 double crochets. We've now got 24 stitches. Row three, chain three and work one double crochet in that same stitch. In the following stitch we're going to work one double crochet. In the next stitch we work two double crochets. Followed by one double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochets in the next. So we're working one double crochet followed by two double crochets to increase the stitches. We carry on in the same way, one double crochet followed by two double crochets in the next stitch until we get to the end of the round. One double crochet in the last stitch and again we join 
into the third chain of the first stitch with a slip stitch. Row 4. Again we're going to chain 3 and in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch two double crochets one double crochet in the next two stitches and two double crochets in the next so on this round we're doing two one double crochet in two stitches two double crochets in the next one double crochet in the next two two double crochets in the next so two one double crochet in each of the next two stitches and two double crochets into the next one and again you carry on in the same way all the way round and I'll meet you at the end of the round again with a slip stitch into the third chain of the starting stitch we're now ready to start forming the 12 star points in the same stitch that we've just joined we're now going to do a single crochet we're going to then skip the next stitch and in the third stitch we're going to do two doubles two chain and two doubles we skip the next stitch and work one single crochet into the following stitch this is the only round that we actually do the single crochets on it's just so that we get a defined point of each of the uh, the star so we skip a stitch into the next stitch we work two doubles two chains and two doubles so you can see how the points of the star are going to form again we skip the next stitch and work a single crochet into the following stitch skip one stitch work two double crochets two chain and two double crochets into that same stitch skip the next stitch single crochet into the next one skip one stitch two double crochets, two chain and two double crochets into the next skip one, single crochet, skip one, two doubles, two chains and two doubles skip one, single crochet, skip one, two doubles, two chain, two doubles, skip one, single crochet, skip one, and again the two double crochets, two chain, and two double crochets skip one single crochet 
skip one and again we've got the two double crochet two chain and two double crochet so we'll carry on in the same way skip the next stitch single crochet skip the next stitch the two double crochet two chain two double crochet and so on and I'll meet you again at the end of the round as we come round to the last of the two double crochet two chain two double crochet work those stitches in and then we will slip stitch into the single crochet at the start of this round as I'm going to change colour on this next row I'm going to snip off the yarn pull through the loop and fasten off if you're going to stay with the same colour yarn you will slip stitch into the next stitch start a new row we're going to join with a slip stitch into the last stitch before the two chain space if you were carrying on with the same colour you would have slip stitched along to this point so we join with a slip stitch and work three chain which again is the starting double crochet into the two chain space we're going to work two double crochets two chain and two double crochets this carries on throughout the blanket that in the points of each um, star shape we're always going to do two doubles one uh, two chain and two doubles and then being careful not to skip this first stitch we're now going to work one double crochet into that first stitch we're going to skip the next three stitches which will form the V part of the star shape so I'll miss one two and three and into the next stitch we're going to work one double we're now into the two chain space of the second point where we're going to work two double crochets two chain and two double crochet into the very first stitch after the two chain space we work one double crochet so we're back round to the repeat where we miss the next three stitches which is the double the single and the double and we work one double crochet into the next stitch in the two chain space we work two double crochet two chain, two double crochet into the very first double from the previous row we work a double and then again we're going to skip the double, the single and the double and go into the last stitch there into the two chain space we work two double crochet two chain and two double crochet you sometimes have to slide the stitches back a little bit so that you can see this first stitch that we're going to work into work a double crochet skip the next double single and double and again work one double into the next stitch into the two chain space two double two chain and again two double crochet again we're going to work exactly the same all the way around 
skipping the three stitches in the V, working into the final double on the rise. Two doubles, two chains, two doubles into each of the two chain spaces and I'll see you at the end of this round. We've come round to the final two double, two chain, two double. We do the final double into the next double from the previous row and then we've got the final three stitches that we're going to skip and again we'll join with a slip stitch into the top chain of the three start chains. I'm going to join in a new colour so we snip off the yarn, pull up a loop and pull it tight. Again if you're carrying on with the same colour you will slip into the second stitch here because we're going to skip on each of the following rows now we're just skipping the two stitches in between because we've not got the single crochet between the points. Joining in a new yarn again we join with a slip stitch onto the hook, a slip knot and skip the first stitch into the second stitch I'm going to do slip stitch to join followed by the three chain which again is the starting double crochet we're then going to do a double crochet in the next stitch we're now again at the point where we're going to do two double, two chain and two double. Two chain, two double. We're now going to just slide that over slightly and work one double into the next two stitches. Each row will increase by one double crochet on the way up and again on the way down. So where here we've got three stitches we've now got four. So again we skip the two stitches this time and into the next two stitches we work one double into each. We're back again at the point where we're going to do the two doubles, two chain and two double. Again slide the work across slightly, one double into the next two stitches and then again we're going to skip the last stitch and the first stitch of the next point and work one double into each of the next two stitches and again we're at the point where we're going to work two double, two chain two double one double into each of the next two stitches oops got a knot in there skip two stitches and again I'm going to work a double into the next two we're at the point again, so we've got the two doubles, two chains and two doubles. Each row now is going to work, will be worked exactly the same, that you will skip 
the two stitches in the V and always work two doubles, two chains, two doubles in the point and each row you will be adding a stitch so there we've got two on the red we've got three on the green we've got the four so you can quite easily check if you find that you've gone wrong somewhere each of the points needs the two doubles, the two chains, the two doubles and you need to check that you've missed the two stitches in the V. I'll meet you at the end of the row. We're almost to the end of this round where I'm doing the two doubles, two chain and two double in the final peak of the star. I'm going to work one double into the next two stitches. Miss the two stitches and we're going to join again with a slip stitch into the top of the three chain that we started the row. If I do a, um, a blanket and it's got a stripe, I do tend to work the colours a little bit randomly rather than going in threes like the red, the white, the green. So on this particular one I would carry on and work another row in the green, in which case I would slip stitch into the first stitch, meaning that I'm skipping the first and at the end of the row you would skip the last one and join into this three chain. So again we're going to work in each of the doubles from the previous row up to the point followed by the two double, the two chain and the two double. You can see there up to the two chain where we had four stitches on the last row we've now got one, two, three, four, five. There's no need to worry about increasing and decreasing as the pattern will automatically uh, increase each row as the, as the blanket grows. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.